video since June, but it is midnight, Halloween night, which means that it is November 1st, and I just started my 12th NaNoWriMo novel. That seems like a good reason to make another video, so I'm, I'm going to try it, I guess. Okay, I have started NaNo for the 12th time. <laughs> Here we go. Yesterday I felt so good and now it's day two and I've been dragging my feet for like three hours and I've only managed to get out like a thousand words and I'm like, oh yeah, writing is hard. Before Nano started, I told Joe that he might have to make dinner this month because I'll be writing, but it's already only day three and I finished my writing before it was even time to make dinner. So we made dinner together. Hoping with this glass of wine, I'll want to keep writing after dinner. Cheers. Joe and I are driving down to Portland today for a quick little trip, and I made one offhand comment about how I could maybe use some of the car time for writing. And Joe is so mean, and he's making me write now. That's why I'm driving, is so that you can write. So you have to do it. <laughs> so mean. Today is Monday, and we yeah. had a secret emergency creative lunch to go get some writing done. Yeah. Um, I wrote a necessary. Oh yeah, absolutely necessary. I wrote a little bit yesterday when I got home from Portland, and I wrote a little bit today, and then I have writing group tonight, so I'm still like way ahead for yeah. the month, and I'm feeling really awesome about yeah. it. How are you doing? Uh, I wrote a little bit of stuff, but it wasn't nano related, so I still have to write a poem today. I think I can do it. Yeah, yeah, you got this. I got this. I forgot to film my nano clip yesterday because I was at my favorite coffee shop and I found out that not only can you order a glass of wine there, you can order an entire bottle of wine there. So me and one other person did that, but I wrote so many words, so I have no regrets. Now it is evening time and I haven't written any words yet today. This is the first day that I've had like this in nano this year. Um, and I thought that I would be awesome and write a ton because I work from home today, and so I volunteered to play the new Pandemic Legacy Season 2 with my friends, and I feel stressed out about it because I have not earned it. So tonight, in unconventional writing locations, I just wrote 700 words in Red Robin, and people looked at me like I was weird. I just wrote a thousand words in a Starbucks and had my first holiday cup of the year. Late night Saturday writing group with myself and my buddy Justin. I wrote a very respectable 1,800 words, and how did you do? I, I hit 10,000. Okay. Hey, milestones are yeah. important. I'm no still matter a bit behind, happen. but I hit 10,000. Awesome. <laughs> so today I'm hanging out with my friend Liz, and Hi. it was supposed to be a big nano marathon day. I was going to have a 5K day, but instead we're just eating food and playing with this Furby. <laughs> On my way back from Monday Writing Group again, Justin's giving me another ride home, and even though I hit my daily writing goal today, for some reason, every single word I wrote was like the most painful experience today. Like some days, I, I like I, there were points where I felt like I wrote a thousand words, and I looked, and it was like three hundred words. Ugh. It was just. It was just one of those nights where it was horrible, but I did it. My night was great. Yeah, okay, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I spent like hours doing copy editing at work and I had planned to have a really big writing night, but I am just so full of words already today, but I'm eating some soup and I'm gonna go do it anyway and we will see how much brain power I have left. You have to get up. Mm -mm. You have to get up. No, I already wrote my words today. You didn't write any words today. <laughs> and you only have like 30 minutes left <laughs> in today. You have to go write words. <laughs> go write words. Go write words. Yesterday, I didn't even start writing until 1030 at night. Um, but I managed to write 1100 words, which I felt really good about because as I've gotten a little older, I, I'm much more of a sort of greet the day and use my best energy to write kind of person. And when I write late at night, I've already used up all my best energy on other things. So to combat that today, I was gonna go take a writing lunch, um, but instead I ended up taking a doctor's appointment lunch because I've been having this like ear pressure situation going on. 
but I got some nasal spray. I'm gonna be fine. My hearing's a little weird right now. I forgot to record my clip yesterday because I was traveling, um, but now I'm here at the night of writing dangerously, and I just wanted to say that for the last week or so, my mental health has not been at its sort of peak form and writing has been really difficult and kind of like everything has been really difficult and now I'm here at the night of writing dangerously I'm just like so filled with joy at this room full of amazing people where nano means to them you know a similar thing that nano means to me and I just am so happy to be here and I'm so happy to be writing this book and I'm like really emotional um I just I just this organization means so much to me this project means so much to me and I'm just I'm just so happy that I'm here look at all these beautiful people I just love this I have finally reached the point in my book that I've just been so excited to write basically since I decided to work on this story again so I just wrote 2,000 words at my writing group that were easy like they just flowed and I even had fun writing them and those days are so rare that I'm just in a really good mood I'm in really high spirits I think this trip to San Francisco was really good for me and I'm actually excited to write the next couple of chapters of my book and it feels so good I just I'm just trying to like take advantage of and appreciate this feeling while I have it last night I went to my normal coffee shop and I managed to write like 3,500 words and it was awesome and then today I went to a new coffee shop this was this was weird and different but I was like I've been to the same coffee shop two nights in a row this week so I'm gonna try somewhere new but I wrote 2,300 words there and then a thousand words before that at dinner and I'm just like killing it and I don't know what it is but something magical just happens in the last week of NaNo it's like I got nothing I got I got no time left to screw around I just got to do it because I want to get to the end of this book and the only way to do that is just to write in all my free time so that's what I've been doing and I'm feeling really good and I'm gonna hit 50,000 and then I'm gonna hopefully hit 60,000 and then hopefully that will be somewhere near the end of the book so that I don't just end up writing forever. It's been Thanksgiving, so I have been forgetting to film, but I've written so much like every single day. I've written at least 2,500 words every day because I'm trying to finish this book. But right now I hit 50,000 and even though there is so much left to write of this book and I'm so determined to do it, it doesn't it, it feels like a small victory but it's still 50,000 and I still have officially won Nano for 2017 and this is my celebratory Oreo that I am going to eat and then I'm going to keep writing all night and all of the rest of this week. All right. I did it. I am at just about 58,000 words for this nano and I have just finished the I believe seventh big like chunk of my book and I have five more I think some of these are shorter than previous ones so I am still just so determined to get to the end of this draft by the end of the month I have five days and five parts so I, I hope I can do it but I uh, have discovered this manuscript target counter thing within Scrivener. It gives you a more accurate daily session target than the actual NaNoWriMo site, which is awesome. But as you can see, I have officially changed my goal to 65,000 words. So I have a lot of work still ahead of me. But I wrote a scene that I like tonight between two of my main characters where they've gone from hating each other to like vaguely tolerating each other to possibly even like enjoying each other's company a little bit. So that was kind of fun. I am in the car again. I feel like I've filmed so much of this video this month in my car, but I've done so much of my writing out at the coffee shop. I'm just very happy. I This has not been an easy month but it's been a very rewarding month because I got myself out of this really kind of bad mental headspace and I, you know, started this month not even sure I was gonna be able to do nano this year because things have just been very difficult. And somehow I'm in the 60,000s and I also pulled myself out of this dark place where I really hated what I was writing and ends it up in this spot where things are coming together and I actually kind of like where my novel's going. So I just, this month has really turned around for me in a lot of ways. I'm very, very thankful to my friends Katrina and Justin who have been doing NaNo with me all month. We've done so many of our writing sessions together at our coffee shop. It's just so awesome and important to have a really 
supportive and reliable writing group. I cannot, I cannot stress that enough. So anyway, um, it was Wine Tuesday, but I am feeling very good about NaNoWriMo 2017. I'm feeling very positive, and I also got a really cute haircut tonight. So it is officially 12:16 a.m. on. December 1st and I like totally forgot to film on the last two days of Nano which was a huge fail but tonight I am just full of emotions and feelings and I just needed to say something tonight about it being the end but I'll, I'll debrief tomorrow can't believe my 12 Nano is over wow it's cold out here so it is now December like 8th or something and I I just haven't wrapped up this video and so that is why it hasn't been posted yet but I just sort of needed some time to like debrief on this whole nano experience for me this year it was not the experience I expected I expected it to be a lot more difficult to get my novel written because nano happened at a very bad time for our country last year and it has not been the most sort of uplifting year and so I had I just had it in my head that I wasn't going to be able to do it and so one I feel incredibly accomplished that I was able to make this happen it was also a really needed sort of respite from wedding planning I I'm not saying that I don't like wedding planning but it is uh, it, it comes with a lot of elements that I wasn't expecting and so it was really nice to be able to just sort of take a month and just write my book and I feel like pretty good about what I ended up writing. I was hoping it would be more first drafty than uh, it ended up being. I, it ended with a lot of sort of like outlining elements still in there. I didn't totally get to the end of the book which was a goal of mine but I wrote like 60 what is this, 66,000 words or something. I like some of them. That's like the most I can ask for and I just feel good. And so I'm putting that project on the shelf for a little bit. I'm working on a different kind of lower key project while I go into the final five months of planning my wedding. And just overall, it's nice to talk to you guys again because I haven't been making videos because I've been busy at work, emotionally overwhelmed with the world, feeling like my voice isn't necessarily the most important one for YouTube right now. I've been spending a lot more time listening and learning and I it was just nice to make this and chat with you guys. So thank you for continuing to wonder what I'm up to and for the many of you who tweeted asking me if I was making this video. Another nano has come and gone. I feel good about it and here's to many more. Thanks for watching guys.